Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, today I've decided to change the uh, rear view mirrors on my Suzuki Katana 1000 and also the Z or the Z125 Pro Kawasaki that I've got. Um, the mirror, don't get me wrong, the mirrors that I bought from the aftermarket ones are really good. You can see you know, good vision from behind that, but it just makes the bike too wide in the handlebars. So lane splitting wise, absolute pain in the bum because you you're just losing. What I'll do is I'll grab a camera and I'll show you on the Katana and also on the Pro now. So hang on a sec. So if you're looking from behind the Katana, you can see how far they come out. So it's an extra, oh, what's that, a good 70, 80 mil that the handlebars are extended out wider because of the mirrors, which causes major grief with regards to the um, trying to lane split on the Pro. Exactly the same thing again. These handlebars are, I think, they're just about as wide as what the Katana's ones are. They're up to make bars from um, area 22 of them they are. So, um, yeah, I thought, well, bugger it, I'll, um, I'm not happy with that because I do need to lane split a little bit because traffic around here sometimes absolutely atrocious. So, I um, had a bit of a look on eBay and um, I found these little numbers here. I'll just pull them out of the box here for you. There they are there. Probably need a little bit of light on that. So let's put them on the katana seat, eh? So that's the mirror. They've got anti-reflection like uh, uh, film on them. So that's that, like, that blue tinge to it. Shorter stock here. Um, to hold it, adjustment in the back, it's got some screws in the back there that we can adjust with. The beauty of this kit is, because I wasn't quite sure what size um, thread or bolt went into the original um, stock head for the, for the stock uh, rear view mirrors on the Katana and also the Pro, um, this kit actually comes with, let's have a look here, with a series of adapters. I'll put them on the board as well. Right? So they come with all different saws adapters. So there's one universal point for that goes inside here. And then they've got different size threads to thread into here. So let's see if I can get this one. It in. Yeah, have a look at that. First go, happy days. So that one just threads in, but as you can see, they've got all different sized ones. So that's a different size there. I think they come with three different sizes from there to fit uh, different size stanchions on the um, on the rearview mirror. So happy days with that. that. That's what pretty much sold me. I think I paid around about. Uh, I think they were around about 35 bucks for the pair. So I thought, bugger it, why not? Happy days. And um, I decided, bugger it, I'll even buy another pair for the Pro too, because I've got the same problem on the Pro. So what I thought I'd do is um, set these ones up, take the old ones off, and um, chuck some bike gear on and go for a quick spin and see how they work. All right.
so they're installed. So there was a 40 mil um, open ender there. It's also a 10 mil on the inside to just to tighten it up a little bit um, on the stanchion part of the um, of the mirror. But uh, yeah, really easy to install. So I'll get cracking with the Kawasaki ones now, and um, yeah, we'll get it uh, done and hopefully get it right in before the weather starts coming in. So happy days. There we go, that was a pretty easy install, uh, nice and steady on them, um, and I reckon that they come up alright. As you can see now, they are well inside the handlebar, the right inside one probably just needs to come in a little bit, and I'll probably just need to adjust the brake reservoir and the whole thing, because this whole thing is that one set up there with the brake lever and all that sort of stuff, so this one's just sticking out just a little bit. Further. That's just on the outside of the handlebars there, whereas this one is more to the inside. Don't really want to move the clutch further. Yeah, no, it's just a little bit like that. Um, I might just, um, I might just see if I can do that now. Actually, I'll grab a spanner and um, I'll undo these two bolts here and uh, just move this whole section just in a little bit and um, that should line it up a little bit better for us as well. I'm probably just giving a little bit more leverage on the brake because at the moment I'm braking up the top here whereas it should be really breaking down further. So now I'm just going to jump on the bikes quickly and just give them, get them into a rough position before I head out on the road and then we can make some uh, fine adjustments on the road. Um, I'm racing the clock here a little bit because the wind's really picking up and just trying to, so I've still got to get a pair of pants on, I'm sitting in shorts at the moment. So. Okay, so uh, bike's pretty much done. Um, I just need to get changed and... Uh, We'll go for a bit of a spin and um, see how these mirrors work out. And uh, if they work out all right, I'll actually put a, hopefully I can do it, I'm not that tech savvy. So I'll try and put a link from the eBay, um, where I bought them from on eBay, in, in the description below. So if you guys are interested in these mirrors, then yeah, you can click on that link. I don't get any money out of it, anything like that. I'm just a little YouTube channel, just to try and help you guys out a little bit. I'm just gonna get changed real quick. Um, I'm gonna put this camera on my helmet. Um, I've got a new microphone and a little bit of a setup on the helmet, which I'm just trialing out as well. So hopefully the microphone um, setup inside the cam inside the helmet works and you can hear me without too much um, wind noise and all that sort of stuff. So it'll actually be a pretty good test because it's quite windy outside today already. So um, I'm gonna go and get ready, put this camera on there and we'll go for a bit of a blade on each bike and um, yeah, I'll we'll wrap up the video after that. Good on ya. Hey guys, it's a few days later from when I did the install of the mirrors. Managed to get the install done, got all my bike gear on and everything and uh, went out for a ride, put the camera on my phone, on the, on the helmet and uh, with this new purple panda microphone thing that apparently is the whiz bang thing hooked it all up off we went went for a ride and of course the audio didn't work so it, it was just absolutely rubbish and where i'd positioned the camera on the helmet all you saw, saw was view you didn't see any of the handlebars none of the dash or anything like that so i've mucked around with the helmet and everything and then all the weather turned pear shaped in a big way so we've had like nearly three days of just constant rain here so um, which is really good for the gardens, but not good for doing uh, vlogs on uh, motorcycles, that's for sure. So um, what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna grab, throw on a jumper and um, a pair of shoes and the helmet, and uh, I'll hook this camera up on the, uh, 
on the helmet, go for a spin, and uh, we'll do a quick review on both bikes on how these mirrors are working. All right, good on you. All right, let's go for a bit of a ride and see where we end up. Let's see what these mirrors are doing. I've done a little bit of fine tuning with them. But uh, nothing too dramatic. Hopefully the uh, microphone's working right this time. One can hope. their socks and there are the mirrors working forearms cover the a lot of the mirror but the side on view it's not too bad so yeah you know, you're sort of like your semi blind spot seems to be all right on the Kawasaki Pro anyway just go for a little blurt around the block while the sun's still shining so much fun riding this thing. Easy to park. It's just fantastic to ride. <laughs> Always puts a smile on my face, that's for sure. Yeah. Nice to see a bit of sunshine. Raining for the last few days, I hey, might. Oh, they're all raging nine horsepower. <laughs> Ripping my arms out of me socket, it is. <laughs> These things are so much fun. Just cutting them around everywhere. A few things coming up for this bike very soon, just waiting on some bits and pieces to come through from uh, from overseas, so um, stay tuned for that. Some good things, some fun things, hopefully. But yeah, mirror-wise, let's have a look. Yeah, no, I can't really see behind me, eh? Unless I... If I pop my arm out like that, then I can see. Okay, so that's a good sign. And then that one there, yeah, I can see. So I have to lift my arms up a little bit just to see what's directly behind me. So I don't think there's too much in the fine tuning I can do there. But it doesn't look like I'm flapping my arms in the air or anything like that. It's just a simple quick peek and you're off and running again. So that's not too shabby. Let's go for a bit of a spin on... Uh, on the guitar, I moved the camera angle just down a little bit for this one. I had a quick look at the footage from the Pro and couldn't see any of the dash or anything. Like it's got some glimpses of the mirrors and stuff like that. So just trying to work out angles on that. See if I can get some half decent footage for you guys. On the Suzuki Katana now, the 2019 model. I actually had a look in the um, in the owner's manual of this bike and little side note it's actually number six off the production line apparently I'm led to believe anyway if you read right as to how you read the um, the frame or the chassis number uh, for these bikes it's number six off the assembly line I would have thought it would have been all press bikes you know the first hundred of them or something like that I guess for around the world but nope not the case not all that, I'm led to believe so what are these mirrors like then on the guitar? I'm waiting for my old mate to get out of the way. Go on, off you go, son. Okay, once again, the, the side view, really good. I can see directly, you know, sort of like in my semi-blind spot. Wouldn't rely on it 100%. I'd always check my blind spot anyway before changing lanes. Um, but, let's just get through this roundabout. Oh, it's got some pull this thing after riding the pro <laughs> it's got so much power <laughs> it's crazy this is 
just have a look. So, you know, it's a little bit of crazy traffic around here. People don't, some people anyway, don't really look too hard. But that's alright. That's what we've got to be a little more vigilant, haven't we? Yeah, I've got you. Okay, so from directly behind, I'm struggling a little bit. I have to lift my arm up a little bit more, like to look through between my arm and my torso, aka underneath the armpit, than what I have to do on the Pro. But other than that, I can see behind me, so that's good. My right one I can't do too well because I've got an injury to my right shoulder. But uh, yeah, I can see right behind me, I can see to the sides. I think we've got ourselves a uh, double success here. Happy days. Very happy with that. So happy to see the sun after all this bloody rain we've had. Unreal. Beautiful. Oh, the sailing boats are out today, I can understand why. Getting a bit of go on the wind. Just take it nice and easy around the streets here. People's homes at the end of the day. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Oh yeah guys, that is a cracker. Well happy with that. Happy with that end result. The mirrors work. They look great. Well, I think they do anyway. Let me know in the comments below what you guys think. Either or. Like the way that they cut out through here and that. And they're just the right size to... They're not too high or anything like that. So, um, I'm very, very happy with that. Excellent. Anyways, I'll, um, I'll finish off this video here. If you guys enjoyed the video, give it a good old thumbs up for me. Much appreciated. Uh, make sure you hit the subscribe button and the bell notification for plenty more content coming up on Rev Match 1970. You guys have a fantastic day and uh, thanks for watching. See you on the next video. Good on you.